Once upon a time, there lived an emperor. He was very wealthy, but he was not a good ruler. All he was concerned about was his new clothes. The emperor used to wear a new outfit every single day. People used to say that he changes his clothes almost after every hour. He used to spend all his money in sewing clothes of new styles and patterns. Hey, you are wearing new clothes today. Will you wear another pair of new clothes tomorrow? No, no. I'm not the emperor to change my clothes every now and then. Yes, we have to look after our families. We can't be extravagant as the emperor. He is least bothered about his kingdom, his people, or even his army. What a selfish man he is. He doesn't even have a good sense of clothing, but still expects us to admire him. Do we have any option? You shall be beheaded if you dislike his clothes. Yes, that's true. One fine morning, there arrived a couple of swindlers in the kingdom. They stitched a few clothes for some men in the kingdom. People didn't understand what they are wearing. But the swindlers boasted about those clothes so much that people couldn't resist them. Also, because they used to say that only wise men could see their clothes. Where's my shirt? Can't you see this? It's in my hands. No, I can't see. Oh no, one more stupid person we met. We are two of the finest tailors in the world. Only wise men could see what we stitch, not fools like you. Be wise, and you'll be able to see your shirt. Yes, yes, it, it's beautiful. Soon, they became so popular that the emperor heard about them. The emperor had heard so much about their flawless tailoring that he decided to get some clothes sewed from those tailors. Call those tailors to my palace. I want you to stitch some clothes for me. We feel honored to have this opportunity. We shall stitch some of the finest and most beautiful clothes for His Highness. Everyone will be jealous of you. But His Highness, there is something special about our clothes. What's that? Only fit and wise men could see them, not the unfit or stupid ones. The Emperor thought to himself that in this way, he could know which of his counselors are unfit for their job. We'll need some finest silk clothes and some silk threads. Please provide us a loom and few days to prepare the finest clothes His Highness has ever worn. The Emperor offered them a lot of money and ordered all his men to not disturb them while they are at work. The swindlers kept all the silk clothes and threads in their own knapsacks, set up the loom in their room, and started pretending that they are weaving something. All the emperor's counselors were scared when they heard about the clothes. What about you? Can you see the clothes they have stitched? I've heard about it, never seen. What if we are not able to see the emperor's clothes? We'll lose our jobs. A few days passed and the emperor called his prime minister and asked him to check how far the tailors have come. The old man was scared initially, but he obeyed the emperor and went to the tailor's room. While going to the tailor's room, the prime minister thought, The emperor has put me in trouble. What if I couldn't see the clothes? The emperor will discard me from my duties. The Prime Minister entered the room and saw both of them working on the loom, but couldn't see any cloth being weaved. Both the tailors welcomed the Prime Minister and showed him the patterns they had designed for the Emperor. In fact, there was nothing in their hands, but the Prime Minister had no other choice than to admire it. He returned to the Emperor. How you liked it! Excellent, His Highness! What patterns they have designed for you! Marvelous! The Emperor was pleased. After a few days, he sent his two counselors to check how the tailors were doing. They arrived at the room. The tailors showed them the clothes and admired the artwork they had created on the fabric. We have designed the best of our artwork for His Highness. Please see the precision work. 
It'll look great on the emperor. Both the counselors were confused, as there was nothing they could see in the tailor's hands. They returned to the emperor, confused. Tell me, how are my new clothes? Beautiful, His Highness. We have never seen such beautiful clothes in our entire life. It is the most charming piece you'll ever possess, His Highness. Bravo! Ask them when they shall be ready. I want to see the clothes before they take it out of the loom. The Emperor went to the room where the tailors were weaving. Welcome, His Highness. Are you finished with your job? Yes, yes Your Highness. Highness. All, All your clothes, clothes are ready. ready. Here, Here they, they are. are. Saying this, the tailors waved their hands in the air as if they were carrying the clothes. They explained the beauty of the new clothes they had stitched for the Emperor. The Emperor couldn't see anything. He thought for a while. I can't see anything. Does this mean that I'm not fit for my office? I'll lose my throne then. His Highness, did you like the artwork we have done on your crimson canopy? Please have a look. Uh, yes. Yes, it's beautiful. I, I liked it a lot. I never had such a beautiful robe. <laughs> Thank you, His Highness. When shall my new clothes be ready? I'm eager to wear them. Only, Only a couple, couple of, of days, days more. more. The Emperor granted them a couple of days and left the room. A few of the Emperor's men kept an eye on the tailors. They pretended to stitch the clothes without any thread in the needle. The Emperor's men were confused to see them. The news about the Emperor's clothes spread throughout the city. All the people in the city were eager to see the Emperor's new clothes. After two days, the Emperor went to the tailors. Are my new clothes ready? Yes, His Highness. Here they are. You will look the most charming person in this world as you'll wear them. Here they are. Please remove your clothes, His Highness. The Emperor removed his clothes and wore the clothes offered by the tailors. After wearing those clothes, the Emperor turned to the mirror to see his attire. Wow, you won't feel any weight of the robe because they are as light as a spider's web, isn't it, His Highness? Yes, yes, this is really beautiful. Good job, Mr. Minister. Yes, Your Highness. The two bedchambers from the palace lifted the Emperor's train, somehow, and followed him. Soon, a procession was arranged in the city. The Emperor walked through the crowd. All the citizens in the city watched the new clothes of the Emperor, and everybody admired him. The Emperor was pleased with the appreciation. As the procession entered in the central square of the city, a little innocent boy looked at the Emperor and shouted, He's wearing nothing but the underpants! Hey, keep quiet! Why so, my friend? He has the guts to say the truth, which we lack. Are you saying that I don't have any guts? If you have, then speak the truth you can see. The Emperor isn't wearing anything! He is nude! The Emperor was shocked to listen to this. But more to his surprise, soon all the men standing there started shouting about the Emperor's new clothes. The Emperor felt ashamed, but he couldn't leave the procession at once. All his counselors had lied and praised the clothes. He didn't pay attention to the people shouting about his clothes. Instead, he walked more proudly, and so the two bedchambers followed him. As the Emperor passed, all the people standing there laughed loudly. 